Lava bash. This is one of the times where you do need to comb your clay up when you're centering it when it's as big as this. to the bears. Sometimes if you go a bit far you can actually go right through and then ruin the pots. I think I'm alright there. You can check it by putting a, a needle through and then seeing how far you are off the uh, the wheel head. But I think I'm alright there. I think I might have over it. Gone a bit too far with this. I think it's a bit big but like I say, we'll give it a go. Let's try and get a bit of the thick stuff up from the bottom. The trouble is I need it to be quite narrow at the base, so I'm going to have to keep squeezing it in slowly to get it a bit narrower. top just to sort of hold it all together at the moment so slow it down a notch another notch that's as slow as my wheel gets actually so just squeeze it in slowly at the base to try and get it a bit narrower a slower wheel because it's probably a bit bigger, wider thing, but like I say it gets a bit when you have a wheel as fast as this on its slowest speed you tend to you know they go out of control because it's spinning around too fast but I'll just narrow the top in now before it gets any wider. So right we'll try and widen it out, see how see how we get, see if it collapses or what.
the top. I'm not having control of it. Straighten the top up a bit. Shape it, see if I can get it a bit, a bit more belly down before it collapses on me. because I can make it as wide because I've tried to make it any wider it and just keep it going too fast and collapse on me I think anyway, it's not so bad it's bigger than the last one so I'm just knock the water out of it If I had a slower wheel, it didn't go around as fast at its slowest speed, I could probably make quite a lot bigger, but I tend to get out of control when they get as fast as wide as this. So. so that's my third moon gel, yeah, that's my biggest yet. And to be honest, I'm really happy with that actually. I didn't think I'd be able to make it wide as that. That's what I'm pleased with that one, I think. Yeah, quite a nice part actually. The trouble with those is when they get sort of wide and spherical, they tend to collapse. So I've got some quite hard clay this time, so that might benefit it. Give it a bit of stability. Just 
following that in a bit just to keep it narrow. So I'll slow it right down. I start to really widen it out. I should have taken my watch off really, shouldn't I? Forcing it out from the inside. Keep making sure the net stays quite narrow so it doesn't flare out. tricky bit to get the neck really narrow so just mop out first before this is where it can all go wrong and collapse on you but give it a go I'll just try and collar it in tiny little sort of top to this so just tidy the top off a bit. Insignificant little top to it, but that's what the picture looked like, so that's roughly how it looked, anyway. Tidy the base up a bit, make it a bit narrower, tidy all up. Just put your finger in to make a tiny little foot at the base. That's it, quite nice shape. Especially when you don't start off properly. So we'll give it a go, it may collapse on me. In which case, you won't see the video. <laughs> I see some people using blow torches and things to dry the pot out.
which strengthens it up, then you can finish off the top and things, but I don't do anything like that, so it's, it's a bit more difficult when you just try to throw it in one go. I'm trying to get a really wide top, so I'll give it a go anyway, see, see if we manage it. Got to remember to keep it quite thick at the top. So then, when I start to really collar it in, it's got a bit more strength to it. thick at the top so I've got a bit more clay to work with. Just do the first lift. too thin at the top so I'll keep this quite thick so I'm not going to push in as far. Keep it quite thick then I've got more to work in. More thickness to work with. Just do one more lift and try and sort of widen it out a bit at the bottom. Have a go. Top. So I'll just collar this in a bit more now so it stops it flaring out and then we'll try and stretch it really wide and try and get the shape I'm after. That's the sort of area, once you start stretching it out and it's nearly almost horizontal, that's the bit that's going to be weak, So, which you could blow, dry with a blowtorch but like I say I'm not doing it like that. So. Try it this way and see how we get on anyway. Gripping a bit already inside. So. But if you don't try, you never get there. It's when I wish my wheel was really slow. Like I said, that's the that's the area that's the problem. Collapsing yet, it's not got too thin.
a pretty, pretty near the horizontal then. Sorry. Which is where it can all go a bit wrong. Pretty wide that. It's quite wide, so I'm not going to try anything fancy. Have a look at the shape, see if I can possibly stretch it out a little bit more. But I might be pushing it look a bit. Found the sponge, there it is. It's pretty much horizontal at the top, so there's absolutely there's no strength to it at all, really. I might just risk trying a little bit more, which could be the end of it. as I can make it because like I said that bit there is nearly horizontal so there's not a lot a great deal of strength left in that and because it's very wet so let's have another quick look <clears throat> now I'm not happy with the top the more you mess about the more chance you have of it just going wrong just try and flop that over so it tries to match the shoulder That'll do, I'm quite happy with that actually. I'm very pleased. Yeah, I'm pleased with that shirt, so I finally managed to do it. It looks a little different on the camera actually, it looks a little more upright than it actually is, but. Managed to get a really wide one made for once without it collapsing on me. So that's it.